Hi, I'm Brian Nash from How We Got Here Genealogy, and welcome to the Let's Talk About Scottish Genealogy. Tonight we're talking about the 1921 Scottish Census. Uh, it just became available today on Scotland's People. Scotland's People is um, the official website of the uh, National uh, Records uh, Service of uh, the National Records of Scotland. Uh, it's it's a great site. Uh, it's for it's where you find all your information about your Scottish ancestors. Anyways, today the 1921 census was released, and now this basically um, has provided uh, several hundred thousands of pages of or entries, um, and. This is new information. Uh, it's the first time it's been released. Uh, so the original date for the census was supposed to be April 24th. Um, but due to some unrest, uh, due to some industrial issues at the time, it was postponed until Sunday, June 19th. So uh, as I said, let's talk about the uh, Scottish census of 1921. Um, you know, just if you have any questions, you just feel free to ask them in the chat and, um, I'll be watching for them. And so why was this 1921 Scottish census really important? Well, like all censuses, the Scottish census is basically, um, like all census. <laughs> I hate that word census. It doesn't pluralize well. Um, like all, all uh, census that are done by countries, it's a snapshot of time um, in the, the life of that country. Or if it was done as a community, it's a, you know, it's that picture of what it was at that exact moment. And so we're looking at June 19th, 1921. Um, there's a couple of really interesting things. So this is the first Scottish census that was had information about dependents, uh, dependent children, uh, about people's workplace, and about orphans. Um, so this is a lot of new information that wasn't there. Um, they made some changes to some of the questions. They no longer asked about disability, or they, I believe, they changed. It. They asked if you were um, eligible or receiving national benefits. Um, but two other things that really make it important. Um, is it was the first census after World War One, and it was immediately or really still in the middle of the Spanish influenza pandemic that was um, hitting Europe and the whole world. Um, and so both these events had an impact on population. Uh, it was early in the 1920s uh, when there was a little bit of that boom in some places in the world um, from the, that post-war boom. Um, but it was still in, in Scotland, there was a, it was, it, it was an, not a, an, a, it wasn't a time of great economic progress and the census do, does show this. Um, so as a, a family historian, it gives us a great deal of information about the people living on that time. Um, it also records some interesting points in history. Um, compared to the previous census, this, for instance, is the, there was changes in the laws that now saw that women could compete in uh, previously male only professions, such as working for the civil service or as a doctor or a lawyer. So this information will uh, appear in the census. Um, also an interesting side um, thing is because of when the census was taken in the census, um, what they do is they record um, exactly who was at a household um, that night. Um, this includes every every place, a house, um, dormitories, um, military barracks, uh, hotels. So at this time, the St. Andrews Open, uh, the Scottish Open, the, I believe it's called now, um, it was about to take place. Um, it was the the week leading up, the, the weekend leading up to the event, so there was lots of 
uh, golfers from around the world that were present in St. Andrews. Um, along with them, there was their respective entourages, the media, and also just golfing fans. So the hotels in um, St. Andrews were overflowing with these people. And they would actually be recorded in the census, even though they're not um, members or not citizens of Scotland necessarily, uh, but because they are in that that spot at that night, and the census is taking that picture, that's where they will record, would uh, would be recorded. Um, and like I said, this is also going to show that the about the economic prosperity there was still and the living conditions. There was still many people that were living in poor houses, and uh, it will also show that there was a high level of unemployment, bec- where it's recording people's places of work. And in fact, like I said at the beginning, due to the labor unrest, um, the census had to be postponed until the original date. Um, from Sorry, and from the original date of April until now, uh, or June 19th of 1921. So it's not quite 100 years ago yet. It's coming up to it in uh, it's just, I'm sorry, it's just over 100 years ago. Um, but this information is superbly compiled for us to have. Now, one of the things, if you're the right now, the only place you can get the records is on Scotland's people. Um, Scotland's people um, is a site. I'm, I'm just going to demonstrate it here quickly to give you an idea of what the site is and what it looks like and where you'd be going. So for you who don't know, the, the, if you go to Scotland's people, like I said, it's run by the National Records um, for Scotland, and it lets you have all kinds of information. Today we're going to specifically look for, for the census. Um, it comes up because it's the latest thing right there on the air. You can click, and it will give you its you can choose census returns. Uh, like I said, it is the only source you're going to find this information um, right now. Um, so as of as of today, it's the only place, and it is a paid um, a paid service. Uh, it, it's free to search, but if you want to look at the actual records, there is a cost. How it works? It works on a credit system. Um, the, the there's different tiers but it's the same same cost uh, there's no uh, discounted pricing if you buy a larger number of credits so um, the the lowest amount is seven and a half pounds which I just checked um, if I, it was today and I was to purchase that that's twelve dollars and fourteen cents Canadian and for that you get 30 um, 30 credits um, each record is Cost six credits. So for the twelve and twelve dollars and a bit of change, and it depends when you purchase them, um, you can get uh, five records, which is actually fairly reasonable considering some other government sites that do charge um, the amounts they charge. But it does let you you search for things. So when you're looking at the census. Um, it get, gives you the information of where, which ones you're looking at. You Just the normal stuff. You can search by name. Um, if you know another person on the census page. So this might be helpful um, to make sure you're getting the right um, John, Donald McDonald. Um, you could put in that person that would be um, that, another person if they knew in their household. That can just help narrow it down. Um, you put your census, your age range, it's uh, 0 to 120, um, and you can put your county, city, and then go ahead and search. Uh, so we're going to do this. We're going to do one, and I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm sure that just by using this name, we'll find lots. So uh, I'm going to choose Donald McDonald. Um, I've known quite a few Donald McDonalds in my life. Um, so let's say we're looking for a Donald McDonald. He's between 50 and 65. This is your grandfather, great grandfather. So let's go to county or city. I'm just going to keep this um, just to the Glasgow city and it will give me 
the different districts that I can search, but I don't I don't know Glasgow. You don't know it, but you know I knew he lived there. So I can leave it at that. If you do know the district, you can definitely narrow it down. Well, I'm gonna search for Glasgow for Donald McDonald. And you'll see there's 13 results. With it being a paid site, you wanna be very careful that you're you're choosing the right one you want to look at. That's why it's helpful to have that other information. Let's try Mary McDonald. Uh, and we'll update the results. There's all the Donalds with um, the four name, I guess. They, they, so it is Mary McDonald it's looking for. Uh, it gives us all kinds of people. Like people, has their addresses, but we've narrowed it down. There's now only seven people as opposed to 13 that we had before. So this is a great way to save yourself money. For the six credits, it's just over, um, just, because it's about $12, you get five. So you're looking just over um, $2 a page, um, a record. So not a, not a terribly expensive um, venture, but every penny, um, saved is a penny earned the good thing is it does save your record so you can print them off um, it'll save it on the site i've been using the site for a few years now and from the first record i ever paid for uh, until now it's all still saved there so right now there's no other sources of this you only have scotland's people um, but it's a it's an easy site it does let you search if you have more detailed information if you know the exact um, age you or approximate age, because remember when you do this, you have to, first of all, assume that it was um, reported properly because censuses are known for their errors, especially when they're not asking the person themselves. Uh, they're asking somebody else who is, the, sometimes it could be a neighbor. In the case of a hotel, it could be the, um, the manager at hotel. If there's um, all kinds of reasons why they might not have the right age. It's probably, uh, you know, if you know that's where the family is and you look and you see other people, you, that's the other way you can do it is try to find um, other people that are on the, the, the same sheets or in the same neighborhoods. This gives you sort of the record of what it is. So you, if you knew... Um, that you're looking for somebody, but you didn't know the street, you could, uh, but you know, like I said at the beginning, their name, they had a neighbor, you could look for that neighbor as well and try to find and match up the records, references, which would be the specific records. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. See you next time and check out this video up here.